Hey everybody, welcome to an unanticipated episode of Daily IoT. I put up an episode yesterday showing how to set everything up from the Trinket to the Raspberry Pi using Docker to get everything working end to end. And I left out a crucial step. Thank you, Ruddog, for checking my math per se. Ruddog was trying to go through and follow the steps and ran into an issue that I hadn't run into because I had something in my environment that I forgot to mention during my whole spiel yesterday. And so that has to do with the RFM 69 library and how you need to install it, but you can't just install the, the one from Low Power Lab because I had to make those changes, remember, to support the AT Tiny on the Trinket. And so today I am gonna show you how to get the RFM 69 library installed, the correct version that I have modified. And I will also show you how to set up the Arduino IDE. Yesterday I just kind of said, see the instructions on Adafruit, but since I got a reshoot, a part of this, I'll just show you how to get the Arduino IDE set up as well. I have a fresh, clean Arduino environment ready to go here. And so let's walk through this and fill in the missing pieces. What we'll do first is get the Arduino environment set up to recognize the Adafruit boards. And so if we come up here to tools right now and come to board, you'll notice that I no longer have, oh, if I can get it here, I no longer have the trinket uh, showing up in my board list. And so that is the first thing that we will fix. And to do that, we're gonna come over to the Arduino menu and go to Preferences. And while we're here, one thing I would recommend turning on is show verbose output during compilation. Sometimes the compilation will fail. It's trying to be nice to beginners and not overwhelm them with messages, but sometimes it's not as helpful as it needs to be to get to the bottom of what's causing your compilation issues. And so I turn that on, it, gives, it gets a little noisy in the output window, but it's not like it's costing you anything and it's definitely worth the headache when you can't figure out what's going wrong. And so turn that on. And then what we need to do is we need to add an additional boards manager URL. And what this allows us to do is add a board manager for the Adafruit boards, but it needs to know where to find that information. And so what we need is a URL that I will paste into the comments, or sorry, into the description so you can get it there. And we just paste it into here. It's a, it's a link out to Adafruit stuff uh, to get their package adafruitindex.json file. If you click on the little windows here, you'll see that we've added it. Hit OK and OK. So we have the URL. Now we can come over to the Tools Board Boards Manager dialog. And what we want to search for is Adafruit AVR. And we want to install the Adafruit AVR boards. This is where the trinket. Uh, information resides. We want to make sure that it's on the latest version. At this point, it's 1.4.9. We'll hit install. And we're good to go there. All we need to do is restart the IDE. So we'll close this and we'll just launch it again. Once it boots back up, let's go ahead and uh, we'll use one of the examples here. We'll go to examples, basics, blink, to open up a Blink example here to program onto our Trinket. And we will come back up to the Tools menu. And now you should have some extra boards under your board menu. We want the Adafruit Trinket, eight megahertz. And we also wanna change our programmer. So the default programmer is this AVR ISP. I think that's Mark II. We want USB Tiny ISP. So we will select that. And before we try to program it, we'll just hit the verify and see if everything builds. Okay, now you see we got a lot of output here and that's that verbose uh, going on. But at the very bottom, you will see that, let me close this dialog, that Sketch uses 12% of program storage space. Everything compiled just fine. We are ready to update it or upload it to the Trinket. Okay, just a reminder that the Adafruit Trinket does not like USB 3.0 ports. It needs a 2.0. And so, I, again, I have my hub here that I plug it into. When you plug it in, you get 10 seconds of bootloader mode. So that's the window that you have to initiate and upload from the Arduino IDE. And if it ever, if the 10 seconds runs out, it's not like you've missed your window forever. You can unplug it and plug it back in, or you can just hit the reset button and it should always be pulsing red. And that's the Trinket's way of telling you I am ready for new firmware if you have any. And so 
When we do that from the IDE, we come to the sketch menu and there's two options here. There's upload and upload using programmer. I'm not entirely sure what the difference is, but I found that when, we're, when we've selected something other than the default programmer, uh, we wanna use upload using programmer, not upload. So that's an important difference. And I just like to use the shortcut on my Mac. It's shift command U. It's probably control shift U on Windows. Um, any Windows users out there that want to check that for me, uh, stick it in the comments, help out the rest of the community. So that's it. What we're going to do is we're going to plug in our trinket. It is pulsing red. And I'm going to do a control shift U and it should go into uploading. Okay. That's it. I've got a, the, the sketch is a blinking LED and we have a blinking LED. So we are all set up there, ready to go. Now, now that we've tested and made sure that that works, I'm gonna unplug that. Let's get the code for the dryer node. And let's do this again without leaving out the RFM 69 this time. So I'm gonna grab the GitHub URL again, and we're gonna clone into it. And I will make a change eventually uh, to that repo. I've been super busy to stick the dryer node into its own folder because the Arduino ID uh, gets a little upset uh, because it's not in its own folder. So let's do file, open, downloads, dryer node. You'll get this message saying the file dryer node needs to be inside of a sketch folder named dryer node. Just say OK. Like I said, I'll fix that. And now we are ready to program our dryer node. And when we hit verify, you'll see all this output and we'll say, oh, we got a problem. You're missing RFM69.h. So we need the RFM69 library. Now we can't just pull the, RF the low power lab one because it does not support AT Tiny, which is what the trinket runs off of. So you need my version. I've submitted a pull request. I haven't heard back still. I don't know if they're ever gonna pull it, but the code is in my GitHub repository that you can get access to. And so we just need to clone that. And I will put this link also down in the description, <clears throat> but we don't want to clone it just right here in the texting dryer node thing. We need to clone it into the Arduino libraries folder. Now on, it's in a different spot on Mac than Windows. I'm, I feel like in Windows it's in like program, you know what, I'm not even gonna guess cause I'm not sure, I haven't used Windows in a while. I will put the Windows location down in the description. On Mac, it is just in uh, documents Arduino and so, we do an ls here we have a libraries so we'll cd into libraries and right now it's empty so let's go ahead and clear that and we're going to clone the repository right here into libraries so we do git clone uh, that's the rfm69 repository out of my github account so we'll clone that we will then cd into it <clears throat> now if you'll notice i have this helpful output on my uh, terminal that shows me that I'm on the master branch. You don't want to be on the master branch because that is not the branch that I made the changes on. We need to change branches first. And in Git, that's very simple. We just do a git checkout the name of the branch. In this case, it's attiny-support. Hit enter. And now that puts the folder structure of the RFM69 library into a state that has all my changes and it's ready to go. And so, one more time from the top, we need to, um, you might, I don't know if we need to actually reboot the Arduino IDE. And we might just be okay. Let's just try and build it again. Let's see what happens. Okay. We're getting the standard error, which is we need to define that encryption key. This was part of the things I talked about yesterday. We'll just uncomment that line and build it again. All right. This time we got a successful build done compiling and so now we are ready to program it again following those same steps as before just plug this in uh, control shift uh, or command shift U on Mac control shift U probably on Windows again somebody check me on that and we should be uploading the dryer node firmware to the Adafruit trinket so 
I apologize for leaving that out. A lot of pieces that I've worked on and everything was working. So it's, it's one of those worked on my machine uh, moments. So that hopefully is enough to get you up and running with the dryer node, the little addendum episode onto yesterday's. And question of the day, ah, today is the start of the NFL. If you're an NFL fan, um, it's probably mostly American, but there's probably international people that are watching the NFL as well. Uh, do you watch the NFL? And if so, who is your favorite team? I'm not really an NFL fan myself, but grew up parents diehard Washington Redskins fan. So if I had to choose, that would be mine. But who do you root for in the NFL if you watch it? So I appreciate everybody watching Daily IoT, the show where together we're learning how to make the Internet of Things one day at a time.